To write the Lewis structure for AGF, this is silver fluoride, sometimes called silver one fluoride. First, let's write AG. Then next to it, we can write F. So silver is a metal, fluorine is a nonmetal. So we have an ionic compound. The metal is going to transfer valence electrons to the nonmetal. So silver, although it's a transition metal, it always has an ionic charge of one plus. The fluorine always has an ionic charge of one minus. So the silver, when it bonds to fluorine, it's lost an electron to the fluorine. The fluorine, it's negative, it gained one. So we can think of silver as having this one valence electron. And then fluorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It has seven valence electrons. So we'll put seven around it. And this silver here, this valence electrons transferred to the fluorine. Now the fluorine, it gained the electron, so it's got a negative charge, a one minus. Silver lost an electron, it'll be one plus. We should put brackets around the fluorine to show that it gained the electron. It's not sharing it with silver. So this is the Lewis structure for AGF, silver fluoride. Since we have this positively charged particle next to this negative particle, they're attracted to each other, and that's what forms that ionic bond. Note that sometimes you'll see brackets around the positive ion as well. This is a formula unit of silver fluoride. If you had a crystal of silver fluoride, it'd be a repeating pattern of these formula units. But this is useful to show how the fluorine has gained an electron, the silver has lost one. So this is the Lewis structure for AGF, silver fluoride, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.